Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Oxygen Not Included. In the Super Duper Grouper base, which we are currently building out at a reasonable good pace. We have a lot of the basics kind of set up already. We got our bathrooms, bedrooms, a great hall. We got some farms that are currently being planted. And we're just waiting on a few skill points before I can start making some of this food last a little bit longer, which will be great. Uh, I could start working on some additional... Uh, research, and that probably would be a good idea. I think I might start working towards some early sanitation. If we could start setting up some sort of an early piping system and get some plumbing up and running for an even better, more efficient bathroom, and also have a place to store all of our polluted water, that could be a really good thing for us to do early on. Because water is one of those... Oh, Bad Burrito got his point. Uh, water is one of those resources where if you ever run out of it, you're kind of sunk, right? You really need to be getting that going. Let's get the grilling set up here, by the way, and make you into a proper chef. Huzzah! Uh, however, however, your dupes do not really consume water themselves, but they certainly do produce plenty of pee. So if you are able to collect all of that polluted water and eventually clean it up and sanitize it into something more usable, the dupes themselves are a way of trying to get some additional liquids into your base, which is nice. There's obviously not the most effective one, but it's certainly going to be nice. Also, we'll be able to get rid of this whole, like, polluted dirt thing being produced by the outhouses and just have a faster, more effective system in general. So I do want to get some of that set up if we can. Now over here, in the electric grill, now that we have a chef, I can actually use this. I want pickled meals, and I want you to do it forever. Meal ice will get preserved in vinegar. Where do we get the vinegar? Don't know. But it's going to be a thing. Takes the same amount of meal ice and kilocalories and basically just makes it so it's pretty much never going to spoil. Which is great. We're already doing what we can down over here in the uh, ration boxes. Looking to store some of that meal ice that we will be producing as this stuff grows up. But for now, um, yeah, I, I, just, I just love the idea of making this last longer. So we can't do anything because I don't have any meal ice. But once we get our first harvest, we're going to be really happy we have this. We also need to get some storage figured out. Uh, where do we want to do storage? Great question. How about we just place a single storage bin right here? Now, you might be saying, why only one? You need a lot of them. Well, there are some funny little tricks you can do here. If I were to have a single storage bin and have everyone bring everything to it, and I just simply turn it off and on again, it's going to drop everything it's got in one pile. Technically, everything you see that I've got set to sweep up right here could sit in one single tile right here if I'm prepared to micromanage this and just, you know, turn this thing off and on again every time that it is uh, full. Sort of stupid, but if it works, it works. And that's just the kind of thing about oxygen not included. It doesn't matter how dumb and exploity it is. You use what you got, dang it, because this is a harsh and unforgiving world. New printable is available. Now, I'm a little bit wary of getting myself another dupe right now. Um, it might be better to go ahead and get a care package. Get a whole bunch more food? That's not so bad, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really care about these dupes either. Also, maybe get a bunch of dirt. Meh. If we're going to take a care package, and some people consider these to be a little bit cheaty, but I don't really. It's just it's just part of the game. We're going to go ahead and just print ourselves a bunch of muckroot. Is muckroot really good food? No, not at all. But it lets me kind of avoid worrying about the farms for a little bit longer, and I'm okay with that. More research complete. We now have access to decor. Uh, this could eventually lead into some smart home computers, which actually is kind of nice. Automation wires generally are going to make everything a little bit more effective for you. But is this the top priority right now? I don't feel like I need the filtration. I shouldn't need the air system, at least not for a bit. Pharmacology? Probably not for a bit. So we could go for employment and just get the water cooler. And this will give people a place to uh, just kind of hang out during their downtime and just kind of chat, have some nice social interactions and stuff, get their morale a little bit higher. All right, that's fine. I'm good with that. Oh, and Shadow got a point as well. Okay, Shadow, we're going to go ahead and give you the hard digging skill, which is going to let you start working on tougher materials, and of course, give you the proper mining hat. Oh, Shadow is so excited to be receiving the hat! Excellent, you look dapper if I do say so. Finish with the employment research, that's taken care of. You know something I want? Insulating materials, that could be very helpful. Oh man, temperature modulations all the way down here? Ouch. I don't relish that, um, because insulation is extremely important in this game. Thermal management early can save you a lot of heartache later, but I'm not going to be able to get this until I have uh, some additional types of research available, which would be the advanced research right over here. So I guess, I guess we're going to go ahead and get that figured out. Let's set that thing up, 
And then afterwards, we're probably going to make a beeline for insulation. Because I'm looking at the temperature over here, right? And you got a fair bit of warmth. I'm encroaching on this area. If I'm going to turn this into a giant polluted water tank, I want to insulate this so it's not bringing over the heat as much as possible. And actually, I should probably be trying to insulate some of these areas over here as well. Certainly trying to insulate against all of this. Yeah, insulation is going to be really, really important early on. Let's not neglect that. Okay, we now have access to a supercomputer. Let's go ahead and place one of those right there. And for good measure, let's also go ahead and get ourselves a larger battery. Since uh, so far we have been having trouble storing a meaningful amount of power. Also, these small batteries lose uh, power to the atmosphere and it just kind of discharges at a faster rate than a proper jumbo battery. There's really no reason to ever have these once the larger ones are available. So we'll be dismantling this in just a bit. Hey, our first harvest of meal lice is done. Excellent. All right, so we got some of that. We'll go ahead and jump it down here. We'll go ahead and pick all that sucker up. Love it. I did build an egg cracker, by the way. If we find ourselves in a situation where I've got some extra eggs, we'll crack that for some food to make omelets. That said, I don't expect to actually make use of this anytime soon. It's just one of those things I wanted to have available rather than find out that I don't need it. So let's take a look at this ration box. So we had just picked up a whole bunch of meal lice. Now we're delivering some barbecue down there. It is still listed as fresh, so minus 18% per cycle over here right now. Okay, that's still that's still worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, getting refrigerant at some point could be kind of nice for me as well. Let's also make sure that we sweep up any of the pickled meal, since that's also getting done. And that, I expect, is going to be uh, decreasing at a much slower rate. Let's take a look at the difference between the meal lice and the pickled meal. So right now in the carbon dioxide, the meal lice is going down at 9% per cycle. The pickled meal is going down by only 2%. So that's certainly helping quite a lot. All right, all right. So yeah, pickled meal lasts a very long time. That's why we like this stuff. It's gonna be pretty reliable, at least for a while until we're ready to move on to things like bristle blossoms. Okay. Now, we did just have to empty out the outhouses, and I've gone over here and set up a quick little composter area so that people will have to bring the polluted dirt over in this direction, away from the main base. And I'm big digging out a larger area over here where I'll be able to start storing out some of my water. The idea is this is going to create polluted oxygen, which can make people sick. But ideally, that heavier air is going to float over this direction, and before it gets into the big base, we'll start to descend into the tank where there's already going to be a lot of polluted oxygen due to, you know, polluted water and stuff. So that's what we're going for there. Also, we're going to have a bottle emptier so that as I start to eventually get things like polluted water, if it turns out we ever find a small uh, pile that we need to mop up, we can simply dump it right here to make sure it all goes in the right spot. It's also t strategically placed close to all the bathrooms because, again, the plan is to turn this into a large reservoir where I can make sure that we are cleaning out all of that water and sending it into a larger tank later. Another duplicate is available. Anyone who jumps out at me? I mean, strength is certainly nice. I don't really like the decreased machinery and stuff, though. You're okay, but... I don't know. I feel like you're not quite what I'm looking for right now. Brine? I don't know if I want to deal with that either. I'm going to reject everything right now. It is A-OK -okay to say no to some of these things. You are not required to pick them up, even if it feels like you're supposed to. It's OK. Sometimes it's better just to say no. Research complete. OK, finally, we've got access to these insulated tiles. So the way this is going to work, of course, just like in real life, uh, whenever something hot is touching something that is of a lower temperature, some of that energy is going to naturally start to transfer between them via the principles of conduction. Or I guess in some cases, forced convection, but we're not worrying about that right now. I'm personally looking at this area and thinking, all right, there's a fair bit of temperature to be had over here. Ooh, a geyser. Cool steam vent. Ooh, that'll be helpful. Anyway, um, some of this stuff is naturally going to start seeping into the air. You can already see it start to happen from convection as the oxygen in this area, by contacting something warmer, is picking up some of that thermal energy, which can then carry throughout the base. I want to minimize that as much as possible so it's easy for me to control the temperatures. So we're going to be making use of some sandstone. Now, let me just double check real quick if any of the different um, materials are going to have more impact. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that we don't care too much about whether something is slow heating or not. I mean, I guess we could do something about that. 
Yeah, large amount of energy in order. Okay, this is actually fine. Yeah, it increases the specific heat capacity of the insulated tile, making use of igneous rock. I'm good with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try placing a bunch of these insulated tiles over here. And this is going to take what will ultimately be a fairly warm, polluted water tank and try to prevent most of that energy from entering into the rest of the base, including where our dupes are going to sleep, because no one likes sleeping in a warm room. There we go. Okay, so with the insulated tiles being where they are, I think that we'll be able to control the temperature of this area pretty well. I might even want to do insulated tiles all the way around my eventual tank, just trying to prevent it from warming up any more than it absolutely has to. So something like this might be in order, but we're gonna run out of igneous rock at some point. So let's think about that for a quick second here. Cancel all of this. Um, the more igneous rock we can make use of where the temperature will be the highest, the better. So we can do some sandstone over here. The temperature is highest right in this area. Okay. So let's try going for some igneous rock along here. That'll use up pretty much everything else I've got. It's the best that I can do right now, and I'm kind of okay with that. And this will end up being a nice large tank that we can use for a pretty good chunk of the game. J. Johns has already leveled up again. Uh, we could improve carrying capacity, which is actually really nice. That said, even better construction seems better to me, so let's go ahead and do that, keeping an eye on morale, of course. And let's give you a slightly better hat! See, you can tell it's better because the pencil, or pen, I think there's a pencil with one of them special erasers, has been taped to the hat. That's how you know it's so good. See, he likes it, he's super duper excited. He's got these big, these big googly starry eyes. Ah, J. Johns. Very happy, very naive person. Ah, okay. Now here's something I was hoping to avoid. It looks like there is a little bit of polluted water left over here, and uh, we are not able to remove it fast enough. So it is releasing a little bit of nasty gases into the base. Gotta remind myself which is the gas overlay. Maybe it's under oxygen. No, it's not under oxygen. There's an overlay for all this. I just gotta find everything, because again, I'll, I'll remind you all, it's been a while! Whatever, the point is, polluted oxygen, you can see the green stuff right over here, is starting to get around a little bit in the base. Which I don't love, I want to get rid of that as fast as possible. If anyone would be so kind as to quickly prioritize getting this sucker out of here, that would be great. Finally, thank you J. Johns. Alright, the bottle's gonna get automatically dumped out right over here, which means, yeah, we are creating some polluted oxygen down over here, and some polluted water that people are gonna walk through, but that's why we have a little wash basin over here, at least temporarily. So whenever someone goes in here and inevitably starts carrying around germs, they have to clean themselves off. Shadow, you okay there? I, I, I don't know what Shadow's doing. Shadow, you okay? I, you wanna move over one step? Ha, no, no, mm, oh, okay. Ah, mm, you know what, go do something else, Shadow. I don't know what's going on with your pathing, but that ain't, that ain't right. Let's see, we have some more skill points. Bad Burrito could get even better at the cuisine. I'm good with that, let's get a little bit better at it. Alpha, you want more research? Hmm, astronomy could be good at some points, but yeah, let's go ahead and boost up that science a little bit more. Now we also have geographical uh, analysis, and that is gonna be really helpful when the time comes to analyze some of these geysers, get some basic information about them. Plus also some data disks, which could be a thing. Look at this. Oh man, we got what looks like a whole bunch of steam and some pretty darn hot water coming out of here. Yeah, no wonder the temperature is so high over here. This, this could get a little annoying pretty quick. We gotta be very careful about figuring out how we're gonna get water out of this area. Um, yeah, this is gonna come back to become a really big problem at some point, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. Ugh. Oh, bad burrito. Gosh. Dang it. All right. Well, Bad Burrito just wet himself all over the place, including now we got some polluted water down here. Not the end of the world, just a little annoying. Uh, we need to mop this up at a pretty high priority and make sure we get that dumped in the right spot. Basically, Bad Burrito managed to get a little bit of uh, food poisoning and is feeling kind of sick as a result. Food poisoning, mainly from, I guess there's a little bit of germs in our ration box. I think maybe someone tracked uh, some muck root that got exposed to some of the dirty water or something in here. And as a result, now we got germs to worry about. Dang it, all the freaking heck. All right, we'll figure out what to do about that. Don't worry, it's fine. We are gonna research agriculture over here because what's gonna end up happening now is I can get the refrigerator up and running. And yeah, the refrigerator does take a bit of power and I'm not really thrilled about that, but the good news is once it gets down to temperature, it doesn't take as much power to keep it running as it otherwise might imply. So, 
I would like to get one of those set up. It's certainly going to be better than having these stupid ration boxes, and our food will last a little bit longer as a result. Hmm, now here's an idea. We could bring on a fifth dupe right about now. Supplying, buff, green thumb. Can't do any cooking errands, but that's not going to be the job anyway. And with that much extra strength, we could really use someone dedicated for supplying and tidying. And this works pretty darn well for me. All right, yeah, actually, let's bring on a fifth dupe. I need a name. It's gonna be Bysil. All right, let's go ahead and get you printed into the colony. And of course, that means we're gonna need to get ourselves some additional cots. And we need to get ourselves an additional mess table over here. With five dupes, uh, we kind of need to get into some more plumbing. I really, really would like to get this area cleaned up so I can set up some proper plumbing, please. Also, we're working on a water tank down here, and this is almost done. It's not nearly large enough for what I'm going to need in the long term in this game, but it should get me going for at least the next, I don't know, a few dozen cycles. Now, one thing to take a look at with this refrigerator, I was mentioning this earlier. It says normally this thing is going to take, what is it, 120 watts? But right now it's in power saver mode, right? So only 20 watts in total because all contents, or lack thereof, have reached the desired temperature. As soon as we put things in here that are going to have to chill, it's going to start draining that full 120 watts, as you can see right here. But once all these internal items get down to our desired temperature, it'll go right back into that power saver mode. So refrigerators aren't quite as costly as they seem at first glance. Bicel over here, by the way, does have a point available. I think we're going to go ahead and boost up your strength even further, and more carrying capacity would be great. So we'll go ahead and use that. I really am glad to have somebody who's going to be sweeping up all these messes, because I need my dupes to work on more important things than simply cleaning everything up. But that's been a major bottleneck so far. Now, if I'm going to try to get a plumbing system set up, something I do want to place down off in this direction is going to be... Remember where it is. Um, where's, the, where's the filter that actually can process stuff? It's not the fertilizer synthesizer. Wait a minute. I need to figure out what this building is. Water sieve. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, it's all the way over here under distillation. Dang it. Okay. Well, this would take polluted water and convert it directly into clean water which I like. I mean, it uses up some sand. We got 60 tons of that right now, so that doesn't feel too unreasonable. All right, we're going to go ahead and start working on that. Anyway, I do want to place one. It'll fit perfectly right over here, but I do not want all this extremely hot water suddenly coming flowing down into my base. So um, I'm going to have to kind of dig a way up over here for people to pop up into this extremely hot area, place down some insulated tiles, and then get the heck out of here before we attract a whole bunch of slime lung germs and all sorts of nastiness over here. Blech. Have we found any sign of an ice biome yet? So far, no, not really. Oh, that's going to be a really big problem at some point. Having this vi uh, geyser right here, the cool steam vent, could result in us having a lot of water, which is going to be really, really nice. However, if we don't have a way to cool down that water, it's going to end up turning into quite the headache. So I need to find some sort of a cold biome, something I can use to eventually start pushing a lot of cool liquid through here, cool this area out, and then we'll have unlimited water. But until then, hmm, I don't know about that. By the way, let's go ahead and clear this thing out, turn it back on, and boom, we now are able to continue sweeping. Everything I own is so far sitting on this one little tile. Cheesy? Yes, but oh so effective. How are we looking as far as germs? Good news. Oh, what, 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 what happened here? What happened here were a couple things. Alpha is clearly running around getting sick. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop whatever you're doing, walk over here, and then try to leave, but wash your dang hands. Thank you. All right, we can stop tracking the dang germs. This isn't the end of the world. We caught it early, but that's, that's a lot of nasty germs you tracked around there, Alpha. Gosh dang it, you did it again. What are you doing that is getting you so stinking dirty? Get over here, wash your dang hands, get clean, stay clean. I mean, I guess she's touching this. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, disinfect. Disinfect these. Like, now, before you do anything else. Alpha, stop getting... Stop getting gross. Stop it! <laughs> oh, you're a dirty mess, Alpha. Yes, you are. 
Okay, we finally have this area insulated. What I'm gonna do from here on out probably is just go ahead and remove this door and we're gonna condemn this area for a bit until I can figure out what I wanna do with the steam vent. We'll replace everything here with some simple insulated tiles and we are not gonna be taking any risks. Let's just block this off and prevent anyone else from getting in here. My primary concern is slime lung germs and for the most part, we seem to be okay. Like we got rid of some of the slime in this area and it ended up being completely fine. But if you have an outbreak of slime lung and you aren't ready to deal with it, that can turn into quite the pandemic with a lot of sick dupes doing absolutely nothing useful. And I really would like to avoid that. And in the meantime, we have finished with our research for the water sieve. So now I'll be able to start filtering out polluted water in favor of something better. Turns out this doesn't fit the way that I thought it would. Oh, bollocks. Okay, that's... Ugh. Highly unfortunate, but okay, but we can find a way to make that work still. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta rearrange a few things. In the meantime, we can get some more dupes. I'll be honest, I'm kind of full at the moment, even though I do think agriculture here would be amazing for us. The bottomless stomach is just kind of a trait I refuse to bring into the pile, so we're gonna say no to all of that stuff right now. The next thing I'm gonna be researching is probably going to be internal combustion. So I can get some engines up and running using our coal, get lots of consistent power. And with that power, I'm gonna get some pumps up and running. We're gonna get some proper plumbing up and running here. And then we're more or less gonna be set. I can start actually expanding across the map and all of my immediate needs are going to be met in pretty good fashion. So I'm gonna end this video here, but thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.